What's up? It's Sarah from Vandalistica Vlogs, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is Vandalistica Reviews. And today we'll be reviewing a beverage from the United States of America. That beverage being an American classic, I am given to understand. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Now, in all seriousness, uh, I have no idea what it's like. Um, I just, like, at the end of a really kind of hectic week uh, and finding out that next week I am going to be the only person going back to work <laughs> in my team of uh, hospital admin, uh, I figured, you know what, I'm going to come home, I'm going to enjoy my weekend, and I'm going to start with a relaxing beer. And I figured we'll get a video out of it. So, we've got uh, cans here, aluminum can, nothing too fancy. This is 4.6% alcohol by volume. It's a 330ml can, established in Milwaukee in 1844. I'll be honest, um, I think I've really only had into, like American beers. I've had um, Budweiser, everybody's had Budweiser. And I think I've had Coors. I think it was it was either cause or cause light. If it was light, then it, it makes sense. But I found them quite light on, like fairly. I don't want to say flavorless. Like there's just not no real body to it. And I'm sure there's you know there's enough nerds and whatever that there's probably like decent beers. But like the the bigger name brands, I thought might be you know a little bit better. But let's try the PBR and see what happens. See what happens? The hell? Obviously, I know what's gonna happen. I need to do it. Make water. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. I'm sure somebody said that to me one time. So, okay. It smells like a, like a bitter. Okay. It's, uh, it's smooth. It is a little bit bitter. Has a little bit of a tang to it, which just could be the can. Maybe it's better out of glass. Most things are better out of glass, but it's not. I mean, these uh, six cans were like 20 bucks Australian, which um, I don't know what that is in, in USD at the moment. We could be seeing parity given the, uh, the, the sitch. $20 for six beers, it's, it's not bad. I kind of feel like this is a drink it very, very cold kind of beer. You know those ones where it's like, you just make it icy cold so you're not really having a beer flavor as much as you are just having a refreshing drink. Like I really love this. Once you start drinking beer uh, and appreciating different beers, I don't think there's anything more thirst quenching than a beer. The problem is where it goes from thirst quenching to now I'm drunk, <laughs> which is a very, <laughs> it's a very thin line. I think this would be an all right barbecue beer. I think for the price it's fine. I think I would personally be happy to pay a little bit more and get something a little bit nicer. But I mean, does what it? Well, I was gonna say it does what it says on the label, but obviously it doesn't, doesn't say get you drunk on the label. But I'm sure it would get you drunk. Yeah. PBR. I'm assuming, but just because the the because of the availability. Well, because of the previous availability in America of uh, different brands and competing things. That I understand. That's why uh, food is uh, not quite as expensive. So I don't know what you'd pay for the six pack in um, in the states, but. Let me know. Also let me know in the comments what's your favorite kind of, what's your go-to beer? Uh, or, you know, go-to drink if you don't drink beer. Um, and uh, yeah. Hope everybody is staying safe during the sitch. Thanks to everybody who uh, jumped on that last video and gave it a like and whatnot. Um, I appreciate that. It's not more than anybody else is saying about the situation. But, um, you know me. <laughs>
don't make a video for like six months and then something annoys me on the TV or something and I'm just like, oh, well, I might just jump in there and do a little thing. So anyway, God bless, look after each other and yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.